All right. So here we are. March 28th and the 29th, about to describe the LCD sound system concert to you because uh, there's nobody here to talk to and uh, everybody I've texted is asleep, rightfully so. And so it's just me and my voice recorder and a recollection of the evening, which it was a pretty amazing evening. Uh, truth be told, there was nothing short of brilliance going on at Terminal 5. And I was out of my mind and uh, can really uh, only recall it as an amazing experience. Nothing really in particular, except for some interesting salient moments, uh, which uh, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what to process with uh, exactly. For starters uh, and enders, we have uh, whatever happened tonight between uh, myself and Mickey, the partner to my two-ticket maximum purchase for the LCD show Monday night, the first show at Terminal 5 of a four-show block. And um, I got up to meet with my other friends that were going to the show, Jesse and Cynthia and uh, Allison, and was having a good time dancing, which is what I assumed was going to be happening. And about halfway through the second act, or maybe even the beginning of the second act, Mickey taps me on the shoulder and he says, uh, dude, I think there are some cute girls up on the top tier. Let's go up there and check out and see what's going on there. And, uh, you know, I was too far gone to even... I, I just barely caught the subtext of that, that he wanted to go and, and move on. But, you know... I didn't care. I was having a good time. I was dancing. I was with my friends. I had, had a great spot on the second tier in order to catch all this footage of the awesome show. And uh, I said to him, I'm not moving, dude. I don't know what to tell you. I, you know, uh, I wasn't being rude, but at the same time, I wasn't going to go chase tail. Uh, especially when I got a girlfriend. That, you know, it's it's all just going to be for naught. I'm not, you know, I'm not interested in any of that. And he was like, Oh yeah, okay, that's fun. That's fun. And, uh, and, you know, I didn't, I didn't think much about it, but uh, he went, he had a cigarette, he came back, and and apparently he was tapping me on the back of my, on my back the whole time <laughs> during the third act. And my, while I say acts, it's because uh, LCD, uh, James Murphy, decided that he wanted to break the show up into three separate sets, and... Uh, the third act went, and it was amazing. And 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 about five minutes to go, I turned around, and Mickey was there, and and uh, you know he's saying he's wasted and whatnot, and and uh, he starts telling me, yeah, I've been tapping you on the back the whole time, and I was like, I don't know what what are you talking about? I I really had no recollection. I didn't. Maybe I was that gone, but I honestly I had no idea. I was you know I was hitting into all sorts of different people. I you know I didn't care. It's a dance show. I was going to dance. Uh. And he started being like, yeah, yeah, people were hitting in you the whole time. And I was like, oh, all right, well, that's that's their problem, not mine. Uh, and and I think he was genuinely pissed that I was ignoring him, I guess, the whole time. And I didn't, I didn't, I had no intention of of being rude, but I was, I was in the moment. I was enjoying the concert completely thoroughly, and. And he was like, well, I guess I'll, I'll see you after the show up here. And I was like, all right. And, and there was about one, one and a half more songs, and uh, then it was done. And, and so I waited a few minutes. I sent him a text. I was talking, you know, uh, you know, why don't you going to meet me up here or meet outside, whatever. And and I was talking with the, uh, the girls that were there, and uh, Jesse and Cynthia and Allison. And and we're sitting there and, and just waiting and... And I see Mickey, and he's down. He's down in the pit, and he's just kicking it, kicking at plastic cups, like looking totally forlorn. And and, and at that point, I, I said to the girls, "All right, you know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with this." And and I went down, and uh, I figured I'd talk to him. And by the time I got downstairs, he was talking to some girl, and I guess I even blew up that. I 
I don't know. Because cause I, I, I hit him on the back, and I was like, hey, you want to go? And, and then the girl walked away, and he was like, you, you totally ruined that. And really, had I known I was I was uh, I was there to be the wingman, I I would have told him that you know I'm just here for the music. I wasn't here for for all that. But um, I went and I and I said I gotta go to the bathroom. We were about to leave, and I said I gotta go to the bathroom. And I went to the bathroom, and uh, I came back and I couldn't find him. I couldn't find him at all. And, I went and just kind of stood around the pit and, you know, looked over at the cups and everything like that and just kind of took in the whole scene and and I left and I I don't know where he went. <laughs> he was obviously upset at me, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to tell him. I was, I was into it. I wasn't, I wasn't into the, I wasn't into looking at the girls I was into enjoying the show and I texted him before uh, you know I left Manhattan I said you know man if you want to meet up in Brooklyn let's meet up but I never got a text back from him or, or really anybody else so here I am in my room the show itself was uh, phenomenal I mean uh, it was uh, it was the first show I went to where I feel like uh it's all just a blur. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember defined parts. To, you know how there's only a couple instances where I remember song choices and how and how he chose to play songs and if they were good choices or bad choices. But all in all, it was just it was just about the dancing and the enjoyment and you know 